there's a couple of really useful calculators in analytics and they help you to disclose all cost and charges someone might be paying on a portfolio but also it allows you to illustrate the impact of those cost and charges over the coming years they both live under this tab on the left hand side under portfolio tools one of them is the reduction in yield calculator also referred to as the pension switching tool and a MIFID ex ante calculator so let's have a look at them now the first time you load up this feature it opens up a separate window so do be warned the pop-up blocker might block it the first time and they're laid out side by side ex ante cost and charges calculator on the left and the reduction in yield tool on the right so in terms of the ex ante cost and charges calculator to get started hit the button at the bottom so the process from here is pretty linear you just go step by step by step until you get to the results tab at the very end and because it's a MIFID ex ante calculator obviously you can only really use this on an investment portfolio obviously funds that disclose MIFID costs and charges so initially you've got to select a portfolio so if you open up the, the long list go and select a portfolio you want to analyze for me it's my model portfolio three click on investment details which is the next tab along so you're going to relate to the the client in question but my client has 400,000 ready to invest over what investment term do you want to project this over um, with MIFID it only really needs to be two or more years but I'm just going to stick to 10 um, what growth rate do I want to use to project going forward um, I want to project on a 4% basis but you've just got to use something logical I would assume over the coming years my investment solution should be able to achieve at least 4% a year uh, next is investment product charges so this is where it sucks out all of the different costs and charges MIFID style on the funds that you're currently investing into it looks at all of the funds within your portfolio goes and aggregates the one-off charges you're paying the ongoing charges the transactional costs and any in any incidental costs at the very bottom and it gives you the overall figure of 0 0.57 now these aren't set in stone you can amend them so for example I might want to take off the one-off charge because I know that the platform I'm going via I won't be charged any one-off charges for the underlying funds so I can negate that by taking it away next up is service charge so these next set of charges obviously relating to the service being offered and for the most part you can click on that little blue arrow and it will expand the service fees you need to include advisor fee platform fee and any DFM fee so for the advisor maybe I'm charging 0 0.5 uh, the platform that I'm using is 0 0.3 and the DFM fee uh, because I am using a, a DFM MPS perhaps that happens to be uh, 0.27 and if you click on the, the results tab at the very end so the final results page is a nice little illustration that you can give back to the client that will disclose all of the costs and charges they're going to be paying over the coming 10 years in this case and the reduction in yield they'll suffer as a result of those charges also it outlines all of the product charges in pound shillings and pence on the left and the service charges on the right and then it gives you a, a year on year um, illustration of the impact uh, on your growth of each of those charges being taken and if you expand the calculation breakdown at the very bottom again it gives you the figures behind the scenes year on year of how much you're paying in service fees and product charges and the overall charges in each period and then finally if you hit the little PDF icon at the bottom that will load up the report now coming right the way back to the yield calculator homepage we've covered off the ex ante cost and charges calculator the alternative calculator to use is the ROI tool now as I said earlier a lot of us refer to this as our pension switch tool because pensions for one don't obviously fit in the MIFID requirements for cost and charge disclosure so you won't be getting the the incidental the transactional etc so for kind of pension contracts you're better off using the ROI tool and the other benefit the ROI calculator gives you is you can compare the cost and charges of two solutions side by side which again is what makes for a very good pension switch illustration because you can clearly show to a client these are the charges you're paying now these are the charges you'll be paying once you go ahead with my advice and this is the impact of those charges going forward over whatever term so let's take a look at this now I want to compare two portfolios so we'll start by selecting the button at the bottom so a very similar setup to the MIFID cost and charges calculator first and foremost I've got to select two portfolios this time uh, to compare incidentally it is optional so you don't technically have to select a portfolio but I am I'm going to say I've got a client called Keith Baker and he's got a pension and I'm suggesting he look at investing um, elsewhere maybe my model portfolio too if you click on investment details uh, next up what's the contract size um, I'm going to say this is a 400k contract again over what investment term do I want to project over for this particular case I want it to be 25 years that's the one relevant to my client 
what growth rates do I want to use? Analytics pulls through the growth rates for you at the very bottom, so it does actually tell you what the two contracts have achieved um, over the last five years on an annualized basis. But I just want to make them the same. Um, I'm going to make both of them five and five. I'll come back in a minute and change them. But for my first illustration, I want to show the client if everything else were equal apart from charges, what would the impact be? So click on the charges tab next. So this page allows me to disclose all of the cost and charges they're currently paying versus what we're proposing over here on the right hand side. Now again, if I've selected a portfolio at outset, analytics will tell me what the charges are. So I know that they're paying 1.32 for their fund charges and our proposed contract is only 0 0.32. So I can pop that in here, 1.32 on the left, 0 0.32 on the right. Um, I know the advice fee, because that's me, that's simple enough. I'm half a percent um, across both. Um, I'm gonna pretend they don't have a platform. I'm gonna pretend they've gone direct. We do, we're going via a platform that's gonna be charging 0.3. And again, if you're going via a DFM route, you can put the DFM charges in there. Perhaps again, you're paying 0.27. Um, and if you click on the results tab, and the final results page will give you a wonderful illustration that you can give back to your client that will clearly demonstrate the cost and charges they're paying and the impact on the probable growth rates. So again, I've got my two contracts side by side, existing versus proposed. If they both grow at that logical 5% growth rate, it clearly means that their current 400K will end up on 862, our 400K will end up on 958. And the reason for that 100 grand's worth of difference is underneath because currently Every year they're paying 7,280 and we're proposing a contract that's only 5,500 and compound the difference up over 25 years, you get that staggering level of difference above. Now, of course, there's nothing stopping you changing the growth rates. We'd always recommend the first illustration you run for everything else to be equal. But if I go back a couple of stages, back to these growth rates, you can see at the very bottom that I can clearly evidence the fact that my solution historically has outperformed theirs by at least a percent a year. So even if I were to err on the side of caution and select 5.25, so I'm now suggesting that if I continue outperforming by a fraction of a percent, which I think is logical, and I can do it, given that I've proven that I can do it historically, then I can at least kind of educate my client that this isn't just gonna be down to cost and charges, the growth will also be down to the growth of the two contacts themselves. And ultimately, at a 5% growth rate, you'll still be on 862, Mr. or Mrs. Client, but with mine, if we continue outperforming you by a fraction of a percent every year, we could be that much more, again, based on those level of charges at the bottom. So I hope you found that demo useful on our calculators. Obviously, it wouldn't just be the, the costs and charges you focused on if you're trying to provide evidence to a client as why you're proposing one contract over another. That might be front and centre, but there are lots of other features within analytics. You can beef up that recommendation performance, volatility, asset allocation, etc., all of which will be covered off in future tips and demos. If you want to speak to an expert on this, speak to our help desk. There's a little live chat facility in the bottom right-hand corner that will direct you to our live chat facility with our help desk. On the left-hand side, you've got a Contact Us tab. It'll give you details on how to contact the help desk, both via phone and email. And don't forget, we have got a training team as well. Um, the training team put together a load of useful guides for every single feature on analytics and you can also schedule a training session and even take the analytics exam.